Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tanya Moos. In my last few videos I am talking about tree. So today in this video I will talk about the MRE Newton tree. So let's see what is the definition of a MRE tree. A rooted tree is called a MRE tree if every internal vertex has no more than m children. So this is important that it should have at most m children. So any tree in which every internal vertex, if you remember in my last videos, I've talked about internal vertex. Internal vertex is that vertex which has children. So if every internal vertex has at most m children, then that rooted tree is called a MRE tree. Now this tree will be called a full MRE tree if every internal vertex has exactly n children. So it's a simple MRE tree when it has at most n children. It is a full MRE tree if exactly every internal vertex has exactly two n children. Right? Now an MRE tree with m equal to 2, that means if a tree has at most two children, then that tree is called a binary. Right. So now let us see these examples and let's see whether these rooted trees are full MRE trees for some m in positive integer n. So let's check for T1. If I check T1, let's check all the internal vertices. This vertex has two children. This vertex has exactly two children. This vertex has exactly two children. So can we say that it is a full binary tree? Right? Because every vertex has exactly two. Either it will have two children or it will have zero. Right? So this is a full binary tree. That means m here is equal to 2. Now let's talk about T2. 3T2. Now in 3T2 you can see that the root vertex has exactly three children. Then the first vertex, the first internal vertex has three children. The second internal vertex has three children. And then this vertex has exactly three children. Rest all the vertices that you can see, they have zero children. So that means here again, either the internal vertices have three children or they do not have a children. So again, this is a full tree where m is equal to 3. So this is a full 3 array tree, right? Now let's talk about T3 tree. Now in T3, you can see that the root vertex has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 children. This vertex has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This vertex also has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So here you can see that either the vertices, they have 0 children, or they have five children. So this is again a full five array. Right? Now let's talk about T4. Now in T4 tree, what is happening? We can see that the first vertex, the root vertex has two children. Then these two vertices have three children. And further the vertices have, you can see here one maybe. So you can see that they are having either two children or three children. So you can say that it is having at most three children. So this is a three array tree. We cannot say that this is a full three array tree because the nodes, internal nodes, they are having at most three. Right? So you need to take care that whenever a rooted tree is having at most M children, it will be called a M array tree. It will be called a full MRE tree if it is exactly M children or zero children, right? And the special case is a binary tree when your number M is equal to 2. That means it has at most two children, right? At most two children will cover up the theory that it either has no children or it has one child or it has two children, right? So this is the explanation to the last question that I've just explained you right now. So you can read it. This I've just explained you. And then let's move on to a binary tree. So as we said the definition, a tree whose internal nodes have at most two children, it is called a binary tree. Right? So now normally if a tree, if a vertex has two children, 
Then the left one is called the left child and the right one is called the right child, right? So in this tree, you can see that vertex 1, the root vertex, has two children, 2 and 3. Then vertex 2 and vertex 3, they have further two children, 4, 5 and 6, 7. Then vertex 4 and vertex 5 has again two children. And vertex 6 and 7, they have only one child. That means this particular tree is either having two children or one children. So this is a perfect example of a binary tree, right? Now, let's move on to a full binary tree. What is a full binary tree? It's a binary tree in which each node has exactly zero or two children, right? So in this example, you can see that this root vertex is having two children. The first vertex is again having two children. Then this vertex has two children. Then this and this vertex has again two children. These two vertices have no child. These two, these last four vertices, they also do not have any child, right? So either the number of children are two or it is zero, right? So such a tree is called a full binary, right? So I hope you understood the definitions of MRE tree and full MRE tree and the special cases when M is equal to 2. So thank you so much for listening. So if you like the video, do press the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe MathSub so that you get the latest updated videos. And for any doubts or anything you want to ask, you can write it in the comment section. I'll give the reply. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.